Hello and welcome back to another TFT video. I got a pretty fun one here for you guys today. Um, we are going to be going some infiltrators, actually six infiltrators, which is a new synergy in patch 10.8. It is something that I was always interested to try out uh, starting off in this game. So we are going to be in the Medium Legends Galaxy, which is honestly my least favorite galaxy of the all of the galaxies. I think it just adds more time to the game and doesn't really show that much room for skill expression. It's just who has a better late game build, basically. Um, because you can just tank endlessly uh, in the beginning and it doesn't really matter that much because you do have the extra 25 health. So it's just, you're just so much stronger uh, in the late game and it's really just about who has the better late game build, which I don't think is super awesome. So here in this game, we are actually going to be picking up three two-star units very, very quickly. Uh, no synergies between them, but those are just very good units. In like, It's really good to have two-star units very early, and that is just what we're going to be doing here in the beginning. So winning the first few rounds, picking up some more pairs. We do have a bunch of Zayas here on our board, um, and we do have a Poppy and a Graves. So recently, I've been playing a lot of Jin Guards. That's actually probably one of my favorite builds right now. I think it's super, super strong, even if you don't have three-star units, which I think is also really good, because if someone else is going the build, then you know you can still do relatively well, even if they're taking your same units, because you only need two stars of most of those units for most of the game. Towards the end, it is nice to hit like a tier three Jace or something for a little bit more damage, a little more tank, but or tier three Ash um, can do a lot. But if you don't have items on Ash, it's not that important. But either way, so we are going to be picking up um, lots of these, uh, lots of uh, brawler, brawler, brawler's gloves and swords and stuff like that because that is something that I'm thinking about going at this time. And that actually kind of feeds into our build here that we are going to be going, which is going to be Mech Pilot Infiltrator. So here we're going to be picking up a Tier 2 um, Annie pretty quickly as well. So we have so many random Tier 2 units, no synergies on our board until we do level up and put in the Jace, because we do want to get on a little bit of a win streak here. So we do hit the four win streak, uh, so we are feeling pretty strong. Again, we only have Space Part and Vanguards as of right now, and we have very little money, very little econ, but it is very nice to get off to this win streak. That will be our econ for the time being. So we do really want to win this round, so we are going to make the Zephyr on the Annie, which, looking back on it, was actually kind of a poor choice. I should have put it onto maybe the Zaya instead, but I was considering Zaya as more likely of a carry than any. At this point, I was not necessarily thinking of a go about going uh, mech pilots. But here you actually see on our bench, we do hit a Fizz and a Rumble at the same time. So that is actually something that we could be going for here. Um, and it is what we end up going for. So we are going to buy the Fizz, buy the Rumble, and we actually hit two Shens here as well. So we could be hitting a tier two Shen very early, but we just don't need that. We also do have two Kaisers on our bench as well. So we do have a lot of units for the mech pilots. Here we're going to be up against some blasters with the cybernetic and vanguard buff, and he actually ends up being very strong and does take us out. He was the other number one guy, so that was a little bit unfortunate to, win that, to lose that round, um, but that is kind of due to our non-synergy team that we do have in right now. So here we're up against some protectors. Really not feeling too bad about that one. We are very, very strong, and we do uh, just barely end up winning this one, I do believe. Pretty close, but we do end up winning. So we do hit the Tier 2 Jace and the Tier 2 Kaisa right there, um, and I do finally decide to sell the Zaya, even though we did have two two-star Zayas, but as we level up more and more, which we want to be doing here, we're just going to be getting less and less Zayas, fewer and fewer Zayas, I guess, um, and that's just not what we need. So this guy is also going snipers very clearly. He has Jin on his bench. So it's looking like uh, Jin guards is going to be even less likely for us. On the carousel there, there was also a Jin with a glove, which is just so, so good, so powerful. Unfortunately for us, we don't have any bows or swords, so it wouldn't even be that strong for us. So we do pick up the sword on the carousel instead. Uh, not that we had the choice of picking the Jin because we are last pick, but... That is what we would have wanted, but unfortunately we didn't have any good items for him. So we do have um, a sword on our bench. We do have two Brawler's Gloves, a Chain Vest, and I do believe a Giant's Belt. 
We're going to be picking up a couple of Kha'Zix. We do have the Shaco as well. Um, and we're just uh, really transitioning here into our Infiltrators. So we are reaching 50 gold here as well. And we're going to be rolling down a lot, looking for some upgrades. And unfortunately, we, we do lose that round. But we are making a lot of money from our Space Pirates, luckily, because we do have the Tier 2 uh, Jace, which is very powerful, so that's pretty nice as well. We are going to level up, put in the Shaco, uh, we're going to be hitting level 6, and we actually find a Spatula here. We're also going to find the Tier 2 Rumble, and that is going to prompt us to finally transition completely into uh, uh, Infiltrator Mech Pilots. Unfortunately for us, we do have the Zephyr on the Annie, which is just so <laughs> not important on our mech pilot so we are going to be looking to try and sell the annie even though she is a two star already and we have a second two star on the bench so we would be super close to a tier three annie but we do decide that that is probably not the right move here uh to go for zephyr on the mech pilot because i do really really enjoy going mech pilot carry instead of shaco carry because shaco is such a contested unit especially in this lobby with other people going dark star i kind of think it's smarter in this situation, and I think you guys can do this too in your games if it's similar with very few Shakos, to instead of putting the Infinity Edge onto the Shaco, putting it onto the Mech Pilot. So here we're up against a second guy that has uh, Infiltrator Mech Pilot, and as you can see, we actually end up beating him, and he had the Shaco carry. I think we are pretty comparable uh, overall otherwise in that, but since we did have the Bramble Vest, uh, the Shaco was not able to be very effective, popping going onto our mech pilot so i just think it can be a stronger build overall going for the mech pilot carry so bramble vest is a very very good item for the mech pilots as well and i am here going to pick up the a second sword on the carousel and go for the double ie onto the rumble so now our mech pilot is going to be doing so much damage with his auto attacks and as you can see here from the damage charts he's just doing so much and i think that would be significantly less damage if it was on a tier one Shaco, a one star Shaco. Unfortunately for us, it is uh, harder to focus the back line, but hopefully for us, our um, Kaisa is able to get an ultimate off, which unfortunately she doesn't really, uh, she does get it off and it stuns them, but it doesn't really do any damage to the sorcerers. And we do end up losing that round, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we do take that L there, but we are very, very healthy here at 98 health, actually, which is, I think, very, very good for going Infiltrator Mech Pilots. Although we did transition from early game, which I think is kind of the optimal thing to do. Uh, from the creep round, we only get a Morello, which is totally fine. That's a very solid item on the Kaiza, and it's pretty effective. So we do go up against a Dark Star player with that Shaco carry. A lot of the Shakos are contested still, as you can see, and we do end up beating him there, which is pretty nice. It's very good to keep our health at this point, because I know we're going to be falling off a little bit since we aren't hitting the three-star units, and our mech pilot is a little bit weak here. Up against the Pang Bros, they do end up taking us out there. The Yasuo, very, very strong. Uh, three-star. That comp can be very, very powerful if no one else is going in. We also are level 8 here, and we do have the Lulu and Soraka in uh, for the Mystic buff, because there are a lot of Sorcerers in this lobby. Unfortunately for us, we do end up losing against the Dark Star player, and we are still going to be last pick. So as you can see, we are kind of losing a few rounds, and we are definitely falling off. Here in the end, there are actually two Infiltrator items, and we do get... Infiltrator Aurelia, which is one of my favorite uh, Infiltrator Spat users. And we actually pick up a second Aurelia right away as well. So we are going to put her in, and we hit the Echo as well. I was trying to put in six Infiltrators, but unfortunately for us, we don't end up uh, switching in for the Lulu quite in time, but we do actually have all six Infiltrators at this moment. So it is a pretty strong power spike to get those six Infiltrators. Up against the other Infiltrator guy, unfortunately for us, he is very, very powerful. He has the tier 3 Annie, but he does, luckily for us, have less health than us. So here I'm actually going to sell one of the Annies and try and pick up the Rumble really quick, because it is more likely we'll go for the tier 3 Rumble, since he already has a tier 3 Annie. We also pick up a second Rumble there, another Kai'Sa, looking for the tier 3 Kai'Sa. We finally hit the Shaco. We put him in, and we now have six Infiltrators. 
Another Echo as well on the bench, which is really, really nice. We're going to put the Zephyr onto our Kha'Zix to Zephyr the MF at the last second. And here we're up against some Brawler Blasters, a very, very powerful comp just in general. And luckily our Mech Pilot gets pulled by the Blitzcrank actually and is able to get onto the back line uh, very quickly. And we do actually end up winning this round, which is very, very nice. Up against the other top player, we do take him down a little bit of health. And there is actually the other mech pilot guy. I'm checking up on him, making sure uh, I'm paying attention to his health and seeing where he's at. I really wanted him to, to die before I roll down for my units because he is taking all the same units that I'm going for, except Aurelia, basically. Here we do actually have a locket, which we do put on the Kaiza because I know I'm pretty close to three-starring her and that is just not a bad item. For some AP, a little bit of resistance, not too bad. We are gonna bunch up our units to make sure we get the locket buff completely and we're going to be against the bang bros guy again which is really unfortunate he's super strong he gets a really good um mana reduction off onto us that item got buffed in the recent patch and is actually i think a very solid item especially with the the um amount that we're seeing sorcerers in the current patch because that is just such a big counter to the sorcerers he does have the rebel buff he is very, very powerful, but I think if we can get some upgrades here on our uh, Echo, on our Aurelia, then we can be very, very powerful as well. So we are only two away from the Rumble, but also here you can see we did level up the Aurelia. Nobody else is going Aurelia in the entire lobby. And since we do have double IE on our Garen, I'm contemplating going for the Aurelia carry, the Aurelia three star. Although we are very close to the Rumble, I will have to sell the rumble to do that in the future uh, just to get the two ies off and as you can see our mech pilot is doing the most damage on our team which is very very nice i do like the mech pilot carry i think it's very powerful so here we are falling in the ranks we are now third we have been top two pretty much the entire game up until this point and actually we're going to be picking up the two-star echo as well which is very nice but we don't really have any items for him I meant to Zephyr the Jinx, and I just miscounted which which tile we were on, and unfortunately don't quite Zephyr the Jinx. I do end up Zephyring the Ezreal instead, but luckily for us, didn't really matter. Our Garen is able to pop off with the huge crits. Very, very powerful. This guy's actually going Darkstar Ash, which I think is a very strong build, very fun build as well, uh, and we're going to have to be a little bit weary about him. So here, we definitely wanted that... Um, Dragon's Claw would have been very nice for all of the uh, Sorcerer players and for, for the very powerful Sorcerer player that in, is in our lobby here. And we do, do go for the buff to Zeke's Herald instead, which is very, very strong. Rolling down, looking for Aurelia's. We are two away. We're one away from Kai'Sa. Unfortunately, we don't hit any. And we do not quite Zephyr the Syndra, which is super, super unfortunate. <laughs> the Syndra is so powerful. So is the... Um, the Vel'Koz as well, and we barely do any damage to these Sorcerers. They're so powerful, and here we're in a very dire situation. Luckily for us, I'm almost certain we're going to get top four. Actually, there we go. We are going to be top four in this game, so I'm feeling pretty good because I know mech pilots are not necessarily the strongest build right now. Here we do actually hit the tier three Kai'Sa, which is actually a pretty nice power, uh, power boost because of the locket buff. That is a little bit extra shield, which just makes our infiltrators last that much longer. Here, unfortunately, these Zephyrs are uh, mech pilot, which is kind of suboptimal because we really want him to be tanking for other units. Lulu gets onto the uh, Kai'Sa as well, which is super unfortunate, but then my game lags a little bit. And here you can actually see the power of my mech pilot as he 1v like sevens the rest of this guy's team. He does eventually go down, but with the demolitionist buff that we do have on the Kai'Sa, we do take out the Dark Star player, and now we are officially top three, which is very nice. And we actually also hit a GA here, which is super good for our mech pilot if we do decide to sell our rumble. Even though we're one away from the tier uh, three rumble, I'm thinking the tier three Aurelia is going to be so much more powerful. And there you go. We hit the tier three Aurelia. We're going to instantly sell our rumble. Going to put the GA and the Bramble Vest onto the Fizz actually instead, since we're not going to be hitting the... Uh, tier three rumble. And here I actually moved the mech pilot to the back so that the units would be moving up. I thought I was going to be against the um, 
the Sorcerer guy, but it works here against the Brawler Blasters as well. It's making sure that the Jinx is not auto-attacking, it's making sure that no one else is auto-attacking, not stacking up their mana before the Infiltrators can get into the back line. They're still going to uh, mostly target the Mech Pilot, so it is, I think, a very smart decision to move him to the back. So now we're also going to be reaching top two at this moment, and we're going to be against Sorcerers, the strongest build in the game right now. And we're Mech Pilot Infiltrators, which is the strongest build of the game last patch, but was nerfed pretty heavily. And we're already going to be rolling down, looking for our Tier 3 Rumble, looking for any upgrades we can find, but it's not looking super likely. But here, we really want the Nico to move up. That is that is our strategy here, because if the Nico can't stun our backline, then our Kaiza is able to stun almost everybody. And we're also going to be going for the Snipe on the Syndra, which we do manage to hit, which was super, super clutch. Uh, we did snipe the Syndra when he moved it uh, with our Zephyr, and our Aurelia is able to clean up, doing so much damage. But unfortunately for us, we actually do still lose, I do believe, uh, although it is very, very close. Our Rumble does get a good alt with the stuns. Oh, and actually, uh, he does stun the entire backline, and our Fizz is able to poke away at the Syndra, and we do take him down to single-digit health. Super, super close game. So as you can see, that was just one ultimate away from being us losing that round so we do need to play this even better here so our two things we need to focus on here in this fight to make us either second or first place we really want to get first place we need to move our map pilot as far back as we can so we are actually going to move him all the way back to the back corner so that the nico moves forward also i'm watching here looking for where he's going to move the syndra he moves at the last second and i move the kha'zix just in time uh to zephyr the Syndra, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do. The Aurelia is able to get onto the back line, get his first ult off, and then it's just history from there. And we are able to absolutely destroy him with our better positioning uh, in this game. Aurelia doesn't die, our main source of damage, and our mech pilot doesn't die either. That is how you need to play it against the sorcerers, and that is how you beat sorcerers. Six infiltrators with the three star Aurelia infiltrator. Super fun game, super close game as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you stay tuned for some future videos. I am officially Diamond now, which is super, super awesome. Diamond 3, as you can see here, and I'm going to be starting my Road to Master series, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.